How are you guys doing? Good. Uh, thank you, Tiffany. Um, for the past year, it has been an honor and a privilege for those of us at GSDM to be a partner to the folks at AdColor. And I'm also very proud to say that GSDM has been at the forefront of the diversity, workforce diversity and supplier diversity areas for the past decade. And it's important to keep in mind that it takes all kinds of partners and all kinds of perspectives to ultimately create the kinds of ideas that our clients want and to help drive their business. You know, as Tiffany talked about, the mission of Ad Color is to champion diversity in the advertising industry and the entertainment industry. And nights like these give us an opportunity to celebrate the bold ideas and the companies and the people that have created those. But if we're ever, ever going to really realize the dream of what Ad Color can truly be, it has to start with us. It has to start right here. Each and every one of us has to go back to our own organizations and we have to start the small fires and take the chances. We're going to have to create opportunities that are new. And sometimes it might even make some of us a little uncomfortable. But you're going to have to push yourselves. We need to bring new voices and new perspectives to the table. And then we will really, really have something to celebrate. So now let's get on to the award you've been waiting for, the last award of the night. Uh, and for the first time ever, Ad Color is presenting the Ad of the Year Award. And we have some great contenders tonight. You've seen them on the, on the screen, the videos. And it is an award that's given for a campaign or single execution that pushes the boundaries and promotes conversation. So while highlighting the lives of multicultural folks, LBGT, and other underrepresented Americans in the mass media, these ads ultimately feature diversity and promote inclusion and give us an opportunity to spark the conversation in the mainstream media and to shine a light on some of the social issues that are out there. There are many, many ads that could have been nominated, but let me go through the six that you have seen tonight and we'll give the award out. The first one is Made of More, and that was for Guinness, and that was done by BBDO Worldwide. There was Hole Again, and that was for Jeep, and that was done by Global Hue. This is Wholesome for Honey Made, and that was done by Droga5. Lucky to Be, that was for General Mills, and that was done by McCann in New York. Trust Your Power, and that was for Duracell, and that was done by Sachi and Sachi of New York. And our last nominee is America the Beautiful, and that was done by the folks at Wyden Kennedy for Coca-Cola. And the 2014 winner of Ad of the Year is Trust Your Power, Duracell, Sachi and Sachi. It is, uh, yeah, it's an honor to be up here uh, accepting this award on behalf of the agency and a very talented team of people uh, behind the ad. I was lucky enough to be this, the producer on the job, so I spent a couple days with Derek uh, and his mom, and um, the most amazing part is really that we were able to bring his story to life. Um, he was just a genuinely nice, kind, grateful, good person. And I think that was what was amazing. His mom was actually featured in the spot as well, um, so it was great to have them both be a part of it. Uh, his, his story is, is amazing. I mean, for to be a deaf player in the NFL, he, he claims that he's only false started twice in his entire career playing football. <laughs> and as a running back, that's no small feat. 
Um, so it, 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 it was pretty, it's pretty incredible to see everything that he's accomplished and everything that was against him. And still to this day, I mean, the, the YouTube views and the PR and all the press that we received for this spot was incredible, but it was just great to bring his story to life. And I wish the NFL kind of honored more of these stories as opposed to some of the stuff that's out there now. Um, so uh, it's great to see. I want to thank Ad Color, uh, Tiffany, and everybody that gave us this opportunity here to receive the first ever Ad Color Ad of the Year. And um, hopefully we can do it again. So thank you.